countryside would you take me home when my heart fills with joy I still remember that some in 96 when we were drinking all that bourbon shit watching the sun go down when we were dancing around the bonfire Hello everyone, this is Inspire 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So, the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Leo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 24th of October until the 30th of October 2016. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Ace of Wands. You have begun to realize that you might have some hobbies that can turn into a new source of income especially, something that you are passionate about. This highly action-oriented card sees you feeling incredibly inspired and enthusiastic about pursuing a new idea or project that you have in mind. You are all revved up and raring to go. Use your creative energy and passion to take the first steps and get this project underway. Even if you like to have everything planned out before you begin down a certain path, the Ace of Wands is encouraging you to listen to your instincts and follow your gut. If it feels like a good idea, it probably is. So, start with a few basic actions to get things underway, and then continue to grow and develop your ideas through more complex actions later on. The important thing is that you act now, rather than spending more time planning or researching. The Ace of Wands is also indicative of a time in your life where you have a breakthrough moment and feel very inspired and motivated about a particular idea or passion. Your eyes have been opened to a whole new world and you are now very excited about the possibilities and the opportunities that are available to you. You are showing huge potential at this time and are driven by a strong, creative force. It is as if there is a latent talent within that is just bursting to get out and be fully utilized. This is also a perfect time to draw upon your imagination and to make your dreams reality. Something to keep in mind with the Ace of Wands, and any Ace for that matter, is that it is but a seed that is yet to grow into something more solid or sustainable. You are being offered an opportunity here that shows great promise but it will be up to you to make the most of it and to maximize the potential for the longer term. It is almost like the spark that is needed to fuel a huge fire but you must work hard to build the fire up as the spark itself is not enough to make such a large fire. The energy of the Ace of Wands can also signify restlessness or uncertainty as to how to proceed. You may have energy and passion but not yet have a clear outlet for its expression. All of these wonderful ideas are beginning to build up from within and you are just bursting with energy but now you must find a way to effectively express this energy in a way that will set you up in the longer term. The second card for you is representing 
your present love life. Your card is the Queen of Cups. You will meet a female significant figure who is most likely from the water sign who is nurturing, caring, compassionate and sensitive. She often appears as a mature female. You need to trust your intuition and listen to your inner voice. Trust the sensations and the feelings you are getting from your outside environment. You also need to empathize with others and to show true compassion. Focus on the emotional well-being of others rather than relying on rational or logical explanation. You are here to support and to teach others, by drawing upon your own intuition and sense of calm and emotional connectedness. Learn how those in need cope with life's challenges and share your knowledge. Hug someone you care about. One of the greatest assets of the Queen of Cups is her ability to sense the needs of those around her. Due to her associations with the element of water, the Queen of Cups can be passive and receptive. Her sensitivity draws those who struggle and suffer towards her. In many ways, she is a safe harbor for others. Her ability to connect on a soul level enables her to remedy the broken hearts of others. Her warmth and genuine caring make her a beacon of light. Because she is so responsive to the feelings of others, the Queen of Cups must constantly uphold her boundaries between herself and others. If not properly protected, the Queen of Cups can lose her own sense of self. This is her greatest vulnerability. The Queen of Cups tends to think with her heart, rather than her head. She may lack common sense and rationality but she is highly intuitive and sometimes psychic and dreamy. Similarly, if you are finding that the logical approach is not working, then the Queen of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and not your mind. You may be required to turn inward and explore your emotions about a particular situation. The Queen of Cups symbolizes achievements made possible by the use of imagination and creativity. This is a woman who is highly imaginative and artistically gifted, affectionate and romantic in outlook. She is often involved in creative or literary pursuits, and enjoys art, good music, literature and things of beauty. Therefore, you may be more inclined to pursue creative projects particularly if it acts as a form of self-expression. The third card for you is representing the future of your love life. Your card is the Two of Cups. There will be a beautiful start to a new romance in which you will experience understanding, harmony and deep love between two souls. The seed has blossomed into a tree of appreciation. Kindness and thoughtfulness will bind your two hearts together with the feeling of being simultaneously very special to one another. This card can also refer to marriage, proposals and engagements, particularly as this card portrays what looks like a wedding or hand fasting. It is a reflection of commitment between two individuals, to say that they will go through life together, always considerate of each other's needs and wishes. This card typically points towards a relationship that is based on mutual attraction and romantic inclinations. It reflects the clear, nurturing, supportive and heartfelt exchange of emotions that is the gift of a romantic relationship. The Two of Cups represents love that is nurturing, creative, clearly focused, inspirational and equally fulfilling. Outside of love, the Two of Cups reflects a partnership of sorts, be it a business partnership, friendship or even a relationship between a person and their pet. On first glance, the Two of Cups shares a similar message to the lovers. However, the energy of the Two of Cups is slightly weaker than the lovers card. Whereas the lovers is the reunion of two complete beings, the Two of Cups is a less mature union that stable as it may seem, does have the potential to come undone over a longer period of time. So, while the union is strong now, it is not clear whether the relationship shown by the Two of Cups can stand the test of time. Only the two people involved can decide that. 
despite the focus on the two beings shown on this card. The Two of Cups also points to what is happening within the individual. To be truly loved, deeply treasured and valued highly by others, you must first and foremost strive to create those feelings for yourself. That is, when you work toward loving yourself, you hold your inner spirit in high regard, treating it with deference and deep respect. When you see yourself in this positive light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value in an equally positive manner. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The New Beginnings A clean slate is presented to you as you now encounter fresh opportunities and novel experiences. Embrace the new in your life, including new opportunities, people, and projects. The angels know that change can be frightening, and they surround you now with loving energy. Call upon them whenever you feel afraid of facing novel situations. They will boost your confidence and energy so that you can enjoy your new beginnings. Sometimes we cling to old routines because they are familiar. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to be open to new approaches to life. Perhaps they will teach you a new way of looking at situations. Or maybe they will call on you to learn a new skill. Whatever the new beginning is for you, allow yourself to be stretched by the fresh circumstances. We learn about ourselves through new experiences. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.